Good morning, it's at Love Clark. Uh, I got cut off from my last video. We were at. Um, they always do that. I need to turn that off when I'm recording. Anyway, Babylon revived. Okay. Uh, I got cut off from my last review. You know, it was down here talking about the new Babylon. I shall not sit as a widow. Oh, I'll just finish the where I cut cut off. Okay, I am, and there is no one else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, nor shall I know the loss of children, but these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. That's where I got cut off last time. They shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitude of your sorceries for the great abundance of your enchantments. Notice how some of these exact statements are used against the modern Babylon that will fight Christ at his second coming. In the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, in the same measure give her torment and sorrow. For she says in her heart, I sit as queen and am no widow and will not see sorrow. Therefore her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Revelation 18, 7 through 8. This is, is the soon coming church state system in Europe, which will eventually turn on the American and British descendant peoples and bring about the Great Tribulation. It will be a revival of ancient Babylon with its priestly caste, pagan rituals and doctrines, and complete disregard for God's commands. It will be a clever counterfeit of true Christianity. To millions, though, it will seem like the real thing. Why? Because the vast majority of professing Christians do not genuinely study the Bible. They do not really dig in and try to prove all things as God commands. Therefore, even many evangelical Christians and their ministers will eventually be caught up in the euphoria of this powerful Babylonish system. For it will be part of the ecumen ecumenical new movement. It will seem like the thing to do. Please remember Jesus' words. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. <clears throat> and there are many who go by, go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. The Jesus Christ of your Bible also gave this powerful warning. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied? Have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? Well, what's his name, you guys? Not Jesus. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practiced lawlessness. Matthew seven twenty one twenty three. The beautiful pageantry, the music, the pomp and the ceremony, and the intimidating power of this coming Babylonian system will be very impressive, but only those who genuinely do God's will and keep his commandments, all ten of them, will be in Christ's soon coming kingdom. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. At the very end of his inspired word, our Creator tells us plainly, blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right
to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. Revelation 22, 14 through 15. The religious sorcery and idolatry of the ba Babylonian ish. The religious sorcery and idolatry of the Babylonian system will be enticing to millions. The vast majority will follow that way, but the above pas passage warns about anyone who loves and practices a lie. The teaching of modern Babylon are filled with misunderstanding and pagan practices. Satan has been extremely clever in, in creating a counterfeit Christianity which looks so much like the original that untold millions have been deceived. Those who follow this pagan counterfeit, uh, counterfeit religion will suffer the full fury of their creator when the trumpet plagues and seven last plagues are poured out on a rebellious world. Revelation 8, 9, 6, and 16. Yet God's word describes the temporary wealth and of the temporary wealth and power of the system. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by your sorcery all the nations were deceived, and in, in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and all who were slain on the earth. Revelation 18, 23 through 24. And how will it end? Then a mighty angel took up a little stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence the great city Babylon shall be thrown down and shall not be found any more. Verse 21. You need to act. God warns Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit and a cage for every unclean and hated bird. Revelation 18.2 Then God commands, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive of her plagues. Verse 4 In this booklet we have briefly demonstrated that virtually all religions have or originated from Babylon. The Oriental and the African Religions have many of the same pagan and false concepts of God and salvation developed from the original worship of Nimrod and his harlot wife Semiraeus. Professing Christianity is massively influenced and diluted by these pagan concepts. Wherever you are, whoever you are, we urge you to genuinely study the Holy Bible, the inspired revelation which God gave to mankind for your sake please do not just read the Bible for sentiment or to reinforce what you already believe learn to genuinely study the Bible and see what it clearly and repeatedly says about the real nature of the Creator God of eternal life and of the true way to eternal life if you are genuinely interested and willing to prove these things please write or contact us and request one of our most helpful and fundamental booklets entitled Restoring Apostolistic Christianity. Also, if you're willing to take the time to study, request enrollment in Tomorrow's World Study Course. Your enrollment is absolutely free. And all... And all our booklets and literature are free. We just request that you put forth the time and mental energy to study these materials diligently. Compare, compare them with the Bible itself and sincerely prove to yourself where the truth is actually taught. We will continue to explain the prophetic events now unfolding to bring about the revival of Babylon and of the coming kingdom of God. This message will not be popular. We will be harassed, vilified, and persecuted for bringing you the plain truth about what is really happening in world, e world affairs. But we must be afraid 
we must not be afraid to proclaim this full truth about genuine Christianity and about the apostasy directed against it by Satan the devil. For the living God does not take kindly to fools and cowards. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation 21, 7 through 8. Satan's counterfeit Christianity must be exposed, understood, and repented of. May God help you to act on this message while you have the opportunity. May God help you to prove to yourself what the Bible really says and to find out about and fulfill the genuine purpose for your life. <coughs> the Living Church of God offers a variety of free publications, including a Bible study course, booklets, and Tomorrow World magazine. The following booklets may help you to better understand God's plan for you in the world. To request your free literature, please refer to the next page for the address nearest you or order online at tomorrowsworld.org, the beast of revelation. The world ahead, what it will be like. Do you believe the true gospel? We've got all these books already. Anyway. Okay, there's another page for you guys. You want to make phone calls and you're out of the country? Okay. Australia. Canada. I forgot the case for people that can't freaking that are blind or can't read it's www.tomorrowsworld.org okay you gotta get someone to type that in I guess the United States PO Box 3810 Charlotte North Carolina 28227-8010 www.tomorrowsworld.org Phone 704-844-1970 In Australia's P.O. Box 300 Clar Clarendon SA 5157 Australia Phone number 618 Eight three six two eight eight Canada PO Box four oh nine Mississauga Ontario L S L five M two B nine or eight nine phone number nine oh five eight one four ten ninety four New Zealand P.O. Box 22767 Auckland, New Zealand Phone number slash fax 09-268-8985 In the Philippines P.O. Box 492 Orienta Center Post Office 1135 Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines Phone 6 three two dash seven two three zero four nine nine South Africa private bag X seven Hatfield Petroria zero zero two eight phone number twenty seven five eight six two two fourteen twenty four United Kingdom BM box twenty three forty five London WCIN 3XX phone 440 844 800 9322